Neil Armstrong is one of America's greatest heroes because he embodies the accomplishment of something tremendous, not just for the country, but for humanity. After people had looked up for tens of thousands of years and wondered what was up there, Neil was the first person to ever make a footprint on some place other than Earth. And that's the way he'll always be remembered. Neil Alden Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, was born on August 5, 1930, in Wapakoneta, Ohio. Neil Armstrong developed a fascination with flight at a very early age. By age five, he'd taken a flight in a uh, aircraft of the era, and he actually learned to fly at age 15 before he could even drive. Armstrong began his college career at Purdue studying aerospace engineering in 1947. He was called to service in the Korean War. He became a naval aviator, flew many combat missions over Korea. After the war, he returned and finished a master's degree and then got into a flight test program. Neil Armstrong joined the organization that would later become NASA in 1955. While working for NASA as a test pilot, he flew over 2,400 hours in 200 different types of aircraft, including seven flights in the X-15 rocket plane, the fastest aircraft ever built. He became an astronaut for NASA in 1963 as part of the second astronaut selection. He was the mission commander for Gemini 8. The Gemini program was a lead up to the missions to the moon. On July 20th, 1969, Mission Commander Neil Armstrong landed the Apollo 11 and became the first man to set foot on the moon. Apollo 11 was probably the most challenging mission ever flown by NASA. As Armstrong and Aldrin got closer to the lunar surface, they discovered that their intended landing site was a boulder field that was strewn with obstacles that probably would have damaged if not destroyed the lunar module. So Armstrong had to take control. He immediately took steps to select an alternate landing site. He didn't have much time, and he was working against a limited fuel supply in his descent rockets. He, if you will, danced around big boulders, deep craters, and finally found a spot and put it down. It's a matter of record of how little fuel was left in the descent rockets, less than 1%. Landing on the moon was just a tremendous issue of national pride and technical accomplishment, human accomplishment, largely unparalleled for a century. And Neil Armstrong embodied that. After his Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong stayed with NASA for about another year, and he was a deputy director for aeronautics research. Finally, in 1971, he left NASA entirely. He became a professor teaching engineering at the University of Cincinnati. He did that for about eight years. Whether it was going into space, or being an engineer, or being a successful businessman, his approach of being quiet, not assuming, but accomplishing things, I think that is his legacy. Leaving academia, Neil Armstrong bought a farm near Lebanon, Ohio. He then entered private business, serving as director for several corporations. Armstrong continued to play key roles in various areas of space exploration. He served on investigations into the Apollo 13 disaster, the Challenger disaster. He was always very gung-ho about the American space program and always did everything he could beyond his years as an astronaut to help the program. During the Obama administration, he testified before Congress to try to keep NASA's budget alive for manned space flight. Neil Armstrong passed away on August 25, 2012, due to complications from heart surgery. He was 82. I told Neil once that uh, I'm not a very jealous person, but for him I'll make an exception on that one. <laughs> that first step on the moon was really something.